I find it galling to be told by a middle-aged bloke in this place. And here we have a middle-aged bloke in this place is a middle-aged white guy drawing a huge wage from the taxpayer. Women around this country are sick and tired of being made to feel responsible for the fact yeah. that men cannot control themselves and deal with their own issues. It is not women's fault that men behave like morons and like pigs. Meet Sarah Hansen Young, Senator for the Australian Communist Party, otherwise known as the Greens. She has a history of making horrendous statements on camera, and those in the Senate report even worse during heated political debates. Sarah Hanson Young has a history of saying very, very provocative statements, and then when someone calls her on them, she denies it, or she starts crying and goes for the sympathy card, which is her want whenever people say things to her she doesn't like. So she's hardly a saint. But that doesn't seem to matter because when Liberal Democratic Party Senator David Leinhelm called her out on her man-hatred, not only did she play the victim, but the mainstream media and establishment painted her as one. That includes several in the so-called conservative media who should really know better. But what actually happened? And Sarah is just across the aisle from me and called out words to the effect of, uh, yeah, they should stop raping women or... or something to that. I, I've tried to remember the precise words and I can't, but it's along those lines. So um, I responded to her. She uh, didn't like my response. When the uh, division was over, she came over to me and, uh, and uh, called me a creep and uh, I told her to go and make love in another place and, um, and then she uh, decided that was all really bad. Lionhelm explains his side of the story quite clearly, but to get a full picture, we need to go all the way back to the start of the issue. In June of 2018, aspiring comedian Eurydice Dixon was raped and murdered in a large Melbourne park as she walked home in the middle of the night. This was indeed a tragedy, as all rapes and murders are. But what followed was not a reasonable discussion of the situation and ways to mitigate risk. Instead, we got emotional howls of outrage, specifically directed at men in general. Instead of telling our girls not to walk through parks, Maybe we should be telling our boys not to rape them. It is not women's fault that men behave like morons and like pigs. David Lionhelm's response to this tragedy was to support a Senate motion to allow women to hold non-lethal weapons for self-defence. Catter's Australia Party Senator moved a motion in the Senate on Thursday, calling on the government to relax import laws for the weapons in response to horrific crimes against women. He wants state governments to legalise and promote the carrying of pepper spray, mace and tasers by women for personal protection. So how did the Greens respond to this proposal to give some people back their God-given right to self-defence, albeit in a limited capacity? Let me guess, they rejected it, right? That's right, short bus. Now, why do you think that is? Because they don't actually care about women's safety. What they really care about is power. And that means playing victim politics. Exactly right, short bus. Well done. Green Senator Janet Rice slammed Senator Anning's blundering, ill-conceived motion. The last thing that women in Australia need now is another man in power telling us that we are responsible for the violence against us, Senator Rice told Parliament. She said he was putting the onus on women to go to the extreme lengths to combat violence rather than addressing men's crimes. So the Greens' entire argument for voting down this motion was that men need to address their crimes and it shouldn't be up to women to defend themselves. In other words, if men weren't rapists and murderers, women would be totally safe all the time. The implication being that all men are responsible for the crimes of a few evil individuals and men are the only perpetrators of rape but never the victims. An implication we know to be untrue. Women can be the perpetrators of rape, and men can certainly be the victims. The fate of this motion was as expected, given the corrupt nature of our current political elite. 
Government Minister James McGrath said the government had no plans to relax weapons importation laws, while the opposition also opposed the idea. It is ludicrous to suggest that more weapons will make women safer, Labor's Anthony Chisholm said. The motion was defeated 46-5, with Senator Anning, One Nation's Peter Giorgio, and Conservative Independents Cory Bernardi, David Leinhelm, and Brian Burston, the only supporters. So here we have five senators doing what they can to give women the ability to defend themselves, yet it's voted down because according to the ALP, weapons for self-defense don't make people safer, and according to the communists, men should just stop raping. Wait a minute. If weapons don't make people safer, why do soldiers and police need weapons? Good question, short bus. The coalition said they voted it down because they have no plans to relax the laws, which is just another way of saying we are too scared to take a stand. An issue for another time. This video is about the slanging match, not the coalition's complete cowardice. There was a motion put up by one of my colleagues, and I supported it, that people should be able to carry pepper spray or something, and particularly women for self-defense purposes. To which, allegedly, Sarah Hanson Young has said something to the effect that all men are rapists, and what? David Lionhill has gone back and goes, well, you should stop shagging them. Fellow Senator Darren Hinch confirmed this in a tweet. That is true. She said something like, women wouldn't need pepper spray if men weren't rapists. Interesting, considering Hanson Young made this statement in an interview on their ABC shortly after. And um, let me say this, the whole point of his argument, his justification for these offensive and um, frankly inflammatory comments are based on a lie. Uh, and I said putting um, more tasers on the streets uh, would not make women more safer from men. Did you say that, that all men were rapists? No, I did not. I did not say those words, I did not infer them, and I do not believe them. She claims she didn't say all men, but she did say men, plural. A group that all grown males are a part of, implying maleness is the problem. You mean like toxic masculinity? Yep, that's exactly what she meant, and she knows it. Leinhelm responded to Hanson Young's attack with, So stop shagging men. A perfectly reasonable response given the context. Grr, I really hate cake. Well, why don't you stop eating it then? Grr, sexist! The communists didn't like getting comprehensively owned with undeniable logic and cutting language. Rather than back down and leave it on the Senate floor, or request Lionel withdraw his statements at the time as is her right, she kicked up a huge stink and demanded a public apology, to which Lionel responded, I do not agree with Senator Hanson Young's sentiments about all men being rapists, and I believe I have the right to voice my opinion accordingly. That Senator Hanson Young took offence from my comments is an issue for her, not me. However, I am prepared to rephrase my comments. I strongly urge Senator Hanson Young to continue shagging men as she pleases. He also went on Sky News to discuss the issue, saying that Hanson Young is known for liking men, and a producer was suspended just for quoting him. Right, so does that mean she actually doesn't like men? Isn't that why Lionhelm called her out in the first place? Two excellent questions there, short bus. The opposition leader and the Prime Minister couldn't pass up a chance to virtue signal either. Women shouldn't have to put up with this uh, form of uh, treatment seriously offensive. It was clearly offensive. It should have been withdrawn and apologised for. To which Lionhelm responded, I'd like to see uh, Malcolm stop being such a pussy. <laughs> Even some conservatives have attacked him. Peter Credlin used that platform to whine about the treatment of women in Parliament. You see, a woman can say whatever they like about men, but if a man dares stand up to the women, he's automatically branded sexist and attacked. Lisa Wilkinson said the best way to stop rape was to tell boys to stop raping, and Hanson Young reflected this sentiment, yet neither were condemned as fervently as Lionhelm was. When a man is condemned for nothing more than standing up to vile misandry, while the establishment refuses to offer real solutions to real problems, it means the establishment is out of touch with reality. 
Thankfully, there are still some old hands willing to speak sense in the age of outrage. The time to complain for Senator Hyson was when it happened and asked for withdrawal. It's clearly unparliamentary language. Of course. So, uh, but the time has passed. She oh. didn't do that, did she? All right, I mean, Jane... It wasn't on know. Hansard, though. It wasn't, none of it was recorded on Hansard. So, you know, there's a limit to where you put your own parliamentary language. I, I agree. Perhaps, perhaps that a line of choice of expression could have been slightly more considered. Uh, that said, it was, um, it was quite a moment. And look, there's no room for snowflakes in the Senate chamber. We're all tough as old boots. I think that we could take something like that. But Jane, you know why it isn't in Hansard. It is not in Hansard because she didn't stand up and ask for it to be withdrawn. If she'd done that, it would have been in Hansard. Damn right. David Lionhelm did absolutely nothing wrong. Okay, so you can only fat shame people who are fat, right? <laughs> So doesn't that mean you can only slut shame people who are- <laughs>